Hey y'all, so it is Thursday, December 17th. I am slowly but surely packing. Um, so yeah, I just pretty much got finished packing most of the stuff. The only thing I really have left to pack is like dirty clothes and the stuff that if the tomorrow morning I'm just gonna pack up everything. Um and what I'm wearing. That's the only thing. What I'm wearing while on the plane Saturday. Well Saturday basically. Um so yeah. So I guess I showed you guys how I packed and what I packed. And what's like the difference between when I get here and move um now. Okay, sorry for the gun, but this is like my suitcase is really, really big. Um, like this was 17 pounds overweight but once I get here because of like hair stuff and everything. Um, but so this is like it's already okay, so my bad the camera um cut off because it was low battery, I didn't notice it. But yeah, so what was I talking about? Okay, packing. So when I was packing this, my backpack, it has like some of the books and everything, um, there's some gifts. But when I packed, I made sure this time, um, I picked out the clothes that really needed to go away and like be thrown away. So I went on through them away here and like, I just really folded it. Um, I rolled some things and then I folded flat some things. And then here's like my socks and underwear in this, um, compartment and in here this used to be like really bumpy but it's not now because like most of my hair stuff is gone and um throwing away like two pairs of shoes so those are like only two shoes that's gonna be in there besides my um my sandals and then really the only last things i have to put in here are like my dirty clothes which i don't have a lot of since everything i washed yesterday and like my blanket so this should be like the heaviest thing so hopefully everything is under 50 pounds now. If not, some got to go. It's probably going to be like something on my backpack, honestly. Because everything else I kind of really need. Um, but yeah. I'm like, hey y'all. So it is a few hours. About three hours before I leave for the airport. It is like seven something. And uh, I'm just really wrapping up everything and yeah I'm slowly getting ready i have my smart brown girl shirt on and it's long sleeves the other day it was just like 70 60 degrees in memphis and today it was in the 30s and 40s so you know so i'm glad i did still come prepared and yeah, I threw away some shoes and gave away some stuff, finished my products. So I really hope I'm like right there at 50. Because I don't have any more money to be given any extra fees. So, and my forehead looks humongous. Okay. But yeah, um, just probably gonna record some things with my um, house family before I go. So, you gonna say something? You yeah. behind the camera? Well, it's all you. Oh, and then Tony. Tony. Tony's <laughs> like, he's like, no. And Bria. And where's Mama Dika? She went back. She's kissing. Getting kisses. Oh. Yes. So, how do you feel about leaving? Um, Let's go. Let's go. I am ready to go, but then I don't want to go. Because you'll miss me too much, right? Yeah, yeah and the matching outfit. <laughs> you'll miss yeah, that, Mama of course. Tika. Mama Tika. Of course, this I'll beautiful Mama lady. Tika. You'll miss her so much. Yeah. And Tofi. Where's Tofi? Over here. Okay. Oh. Everyone's like, Let's put the camera. Yeah, she's about to be home, y'all. Why are y'all telling the world? What's up? I need change. Oh, you're gonna 
I have to give me a minute. Oh, there's dance moves. Christy needs to hurry up. Seriously, it's hard. 10.01. I feel like I'm videotaping like the last moment of my life. There they go. Hey y'all. So it's me and my girl Kristen. We over here waiting to board for Houston. So ready to go home. So ready to go home. Yeah. Yes, at least this place has Wi-Fi. So that's a good thing. When I first got here, I had no Wi-Fi, but um, yeah, so we got here a little late than we anticipated. It was a lot of traffic. They like cut off part of the highway for some bull. I don't know. And um, so it was like a long time to get here. It's a long process and then all that good stuff. So, and of course, like it was very sentimental very bittersweet to live the fam i guess <laughs> but yeah really um so yeah see y'all in houston Telling everyone I know this song is about you And I'ma sing it all day, all night Cause I want to I wanna tell the whole wide world about you Hey everyone, um, I'm officially back home, as you probably could tell, um, but it is December 21st, I've been home for a couple of days, and um, the feeling of being back home has been weird to say, um, but I'm really enjoying it being back home. I kind of miss um certain things um the taste in food is has most definitely hit me it hit me automatically actually um so shout out to houston got some auntie ants it was so delicious and then once i get back home officially to memphis i got some ihop and even the taste in the eggs were completely different from costa rica um the the pace and how fast everything was has been going as soon as i touched down got with my family we were out and about i really didn't get home till like five something and then i tried to stay up and try to catch up on an episode two of some shows i did not make it i ended up going to bed at like nine ten o'clock and did not wake back up till like eight nine o'clock the next morning um very tired but that was some of the best sleep i got in a while being back home um i'm just here the past couple of days i've been just trying to get into the christmas spirit and like being with my family and catching up with people and most definitely there was like a weirdness once i got to houston because every single thing was in english like of course there was still like some things in spanish and like that was a great transition but it was still like listen to things in english and see different people and just it wasn't a shock it was like i don't know maybe it was more of a shock it was like dang i'm really home 
um, I'm really in the U.S. and like everything worked. I was so happy to finally drove my car for the first time yesterday and it was weird but it felt so great and I was driving today and just dealing with how the driving in America is so much more calmer which I appreciate in Costa Rica but still have those crazy drivers and you still have their bigger cars of course have to get back used to that and um yeah but honestly I've been eating non-stop <laughs> since I get back home and that's bad reflection on the past three months I would say I would do it again um hopefully when I have time after Christmas I will sit down and do a why to study abroad and how to study abroad video um, from my perspective and the past three months have made me so happy and has put such a new perspective on life and traveling and learning a different language and learning about myself so glad that i went and so glad i had a, a chance to, to connect with so many people and my host family and my host sisters um because in the way i did gain another family i did um gain another set of sisters um and another set of friends from all over the u.s and all over the world and that's an awesome thing and honestly my trip just really made me appreciate family more and i wish that us as um people from the united states really appreciated family more we only appreciate it once like a death happens or um like the big holidays and even then we still have problems with our families so and it just it made me appreciate culture and, and it made me realize that we're at the time where we really can change the world um especially dealing with social justice and race rela relations and i don't know um but i'm so happy i'm excited to be home and i am ecstatic about the next few months and maybe i'll continue to vlog vlog what it is to be like life is an re or something i don't know but um i was gonna do another reflections video but this is it i really don't have any real reflections um yeah i'm already missing the dog toffee and <laughs> um I have a feeling in a few days I'm going to be craving Gaia Pinto, honestly, and I don't know, and, uh, I don't know, so that is how I'm feeling, I guess reverse culture shock really won't hit me until I go back to school, and I'll probably give you an update on that, like a month update on how I'm doing, because it is real, you do experience a culture shock, you do experience like a head saying like, oh, I want to go back especially coming from such a um, tranquilo place and they're so chill there and laid back to a fast paced country like america and yeah so so that is the end of my costa rican vlogs i hope everyone enjoyed i will be reposting them on my facebook and twitter and instagram hopefully and um so everyone can, you know, see it um, and hopefully inspire someone to go study abroad or even just visit Costa Rica for a week or two um, because it is a gorgeous place to go. Um, in a way, it's like, um, it's like a hidden treasure in a way. So, yeah, I would like to thank everyone who watched me these three months and everyone who's binge watching right now because i know there's plenty of people are being binge watching right now um so that is it and thanks so much peace